Hey boys and girls, it is Wednesday the 24th of February, uh, it's about 8.35, we are in the hotel uh, in St. Louis, next door to Barnes Hospital, where I will be having some procedures tomorrow. Really, not much to report, I'm uh, anxious. Um, but I'm more than ready to do this. This is, uh, a long time coming. It's been way too long that I've been dealing with this pancreas nonsense. So, uh, whatever happens tomorrow happens, uh, good or bad. Um. Hopefully it'll be good. Otherwise, well, otherwise you might not see this video. But we'll see. It'll be all right. I'll uh, I'll get through somehow. Hopefully I'll have less pain and won't have to go to the ER nearly as often. But again, out of my control. Uh, it's up to Dr. Kushner to see, uh, to see, to work his magic. But we'll talk to you tomorrow at some point. I'll try to see if I can film a little bit before, uh, oh, the air kicked on. It's freezing in here. Uh, see if I can film a little bit before the procedure starts otherwise I'll talk to you once I'm back among the living I keep saying that phrase I gotta stop saying that phrase once I'm through with surgery how's that um, but until then Johan out for the night well it's going to be just a few minutes now. They're going to take me back and uh, give me my general anesthesia, knock my ass out, and then hopefully fix Panky. And so we'll see you uh, about three hours or so. Wish me luck, Johan out. Hi, kids. Johan here. It is 4.15 on Friday afternoon, February 26th. Uh, it is the day after my trip to Barnes. We are now home and um, everything is so far going okay. They, they originally said they were going to keep me overnight and then they sent me home after the procedure once I was reasonably de-anesthetized. Uh, they said, you can go. So we stayed in the hotel together one more night instead of me in the hospital and Dawn in the hotel. Um, she... Uh, she went and walked around her college campus. Still cop, go you tactics. And then she went and walked around Forest Park for a while, wound up going to the zoo. She got to see the elephants. And I slept all afternoon. Um, I was kind of out of it. Uh, but things went... I guess about as well as they could. Um, they originally had said they were going to do the EUS and then depending on how that goes they would do the ERCP. They they did the EUS and successfully got the necrosed part draining into my stomach. 
so then they decided we think they decided to wait on the ERCP so that it will give the necrosed part of my pancreas time to drain and get some of the pressure off off of the basically still living portion of my pancreas so that it'll relieve some of the pressure off of the stricture that's there then they can get a stent put in with the ERCP they can get a stent put in and have the pancreas flow properly as it's supposed to so um, I will be going back in two weeks we leave March 10th to drive down to St. Louis again and I go for a CT at 7 a.m. on Thursday the 11th of March and then I'm scheduled for the ERCP at 8 and we don't know at this point whether he's gonna send me home afterward again or whether he's gonna actually keep me overnight like he said he was going to yesterday it's, everything's just kind of all up in the air which you know such as everything goes here but I I feel a better sense of something being accomplished right now um, I don't feel so much like they like the doctors don't care or that they just don't really know what they're doing so they'll just do a wait-and-see approach and hope it doesn't get any worse I mean I'm still kind of unclear what's fully happening, but I have much more of a sense of where going forward with this guy from Barnes. Um, but um, but so I have to I have to behave for another couple weeks, and then I go back down and do some more surgeries, procedures, whatever. And then hopefully, maybe things will get a little better. I mean, obviously, obviously the 70% of my pancreas that is dead will not come back. Um, you can't regenerate dead tissue. That's, you know, Frankenstein 101. But... Hopefully, once they are able to relieve the pressure and get a stent put in and the pancreas can do what it's supposed to do properly, then hopefully, you know, hopefully I can, uh, I can keep that last 30% functioning, or at least most of that. 30% um, but I'm still at risk of pancreatitis this procedure I had yesterday could cause a flare-up this procedure I'm having in two weeks very easily could cause a flare-up so I still have to be extraordinarily careful um, what I do what I eat what I drink uh, what I snort, mainline, shoot up, smoke, whatever. It's a joke, people. I don't do most of that. But, um, I just have to be careful for the next two weeks still. And, uh, try to stay out of the hospital because... See, Dawn said yesterday that she doesn't think I could have handled a drive home yesterday. So, it was probably good that we had the hotel room for the, another, for the other night. But here's the thing, the surgery in two weeks is more... And 
involved and not more invasive because it's endoscopic it's not invasive but more intensive I guess is the right term perhaps and so I can't see that I will even if he does say I can go home afterward I can't see that I'll be able to handle a 90 minute car ride home after that if if she said I couldn't after yesterday's procedure so I'm thinking we're probably going to stay till Friday again anyway but it's ultimately not my decision I'm, I'm just the patient so that's that's what I had to report as far as how I'm feeling I feel okay I don't I don't honestly I don't really feel that much different I um, I, I have a little less pressure in my belly which is a good thing um, it doesn't hurt as much when I bend over to like say kissed on in the morning for example um, or when she's on the couch or whatever and I lean down to hug her or whatever the case but I don't feel really any different as far as you know the pain or whatever it, 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 nothing really feels like it's changed yet and I don't know really what I was necessarily expecting but um, nothing's really nothing's really different yet so I'm gonna call that no news is good news and just sort of put my cards back put my chips back in the basket of as I mix my phrases of this doctor being able to do next surgery properly so that I can have my 30% pancreatic function um, then I've got to get in to see my uh, endocrinologist to get the diabetes thing under control and that's not till May It's a never-ending journey. That's that's just how it is. It's a never-ending journey. Um, but you know, I I'm moving forward. It's baby steps right now, still, but I'm moving forward. And. I, you know at least I don't feel worse um, so we'll go we'll go from there and hopefully hopefully in two weeks get this taken care of and then get out and start walking shortly after that to be able to start running shortly after that and I mean shortly after that I'm ready to start running um, Lincoln Presidential Half Marathon is in five weeks four weeks five weeks something like that and I know I'm not gonna be Dawn's not gonna let me even walk in it but that's the start of race season and hell or high water I'm gonna be doing races virtual or not I don't care I'm gonna be doing races this year because that's what we do we're runners so we run
faster or whether I'm 20 times slower, I'll be out there. And uh, this pancreas thing, it, it better fix itself because no excuses and no uh, setbacks. We're going forward. That's, that's how it's going to be. That's, that's my motto, ever forward. So, what are you going to do? Um, but that's really all I have to report. I'm sorry I didn't uh, get more, more detailed at the hospital. I was pretty out of it. I would have made for some bad video. Even even anesthetized Johan is not pleasant to watch. So it was probably best I didn't record anything yesterday. But um, I appreciate everybody who has come to watch. And those of you who subscribe, I appreciate it. Which also reminds me, if you like my videos, please click like below. If you want to subscribe, please click subscribe below and you'll get a notification anytime I post a new video. Because once, uh, once the journey back to running them starts, there will be videos out on the roads out on the running paths, out on the race courses. And some of you might be in them and some of you might be hiding from my camera. But there will be more videos coming. And I don't know what's, what's going to be in them. It could be triumphant. It could be, you know, I could be bawling because I didn't get where I wanted to be when I wanted to be there. It I don't I don't know what's gonna happen. But I hope you'll stay with me. I can't promise they'll be incredibly entertaining or exciting or anything like that. But I hope you'll watch. Um That's it. I hope you watch. Johan out, and we'll talk soon. See you guys.